Okay, I'm running late, but uh, decided I'd better get this done. It's uh, 8 p.m. on February 23rd, 2016. First stop, uh, I will show you something. Everything that I'm wearing used to belong to my dad. And even though he's been gone for almost three years, it still seems weird. Um, first off, for most people who are in recovery and addict, uh, recovery addict, alcoholic, in my position, they would probably not be here. Um, for, since April 2012, I've had two of my friends pass away. My dad died in front of me almost two years ago. My cousin passed away. Uh, people I looked up to. Um, my longest job has ended. I haven't worked. I haven't been able to work since uh, January 17, 2014. My plan was to go back to work. When the job ended, um, as you can tell, my torch is going crazy. Uh, my body said otherwise. Um, I have tried to go back to work um, with the 16 medical conditions I have and no control, it's just not possible. I have a look at my meds. So, one second. I'm on three medications for the uh, six neuro problems. Um, also in the last two years, uh, I thankfully had the four month severance, the 26 weeks of unemployment, and the only thing that's keeping me alive off the street is the pension check, but it's not going to last forever. Therefore I am having to sell, trying to sell hundreds of items, a large part of my Beatles rock and roll collection, uh, can't take it with me. And may other half, you're just going to probably throw it, throw it away anyway, so. Um, with four incurable medical conditions, I never know how long I have left. Uh, as I may or may not, I probably mentioned, I, they wanted to do surgery on me right now. They wanted to do a year and a half ago. It's a C3-4 ACDF. Basically means they kept me right here. Go back to the back of my spine, fuse three of the vertebrae, um, put pins and screws in there, put a plate in there. I had to be in a neck brace and back traction for months. Only problem is I, um, I don't know when the disability will come in or get 100% sure it will. I'm pretty sure it will. I don't have a place to recuperate. Um, I'm not sure how long it will take to recuperate. Um, also, I do not know which one of the six conditions, if any, it will help. It may hurt. So, I'm stuck in limbo. Um, my attorney told me May 23rd was the tentative court appeal date. February the 4th, 2014 was when I applied uh, with the attorney for disability. It's the last thing I wanted to do, but uh, it is what it is. Um, between, I also do not know how they're going to handle the COPD, which is taking my voice away, and I cannot ow, uh, take a deep breath. <coughs> With my dancing videos, uh, I just get a lucky break and get down for a few minutes I, when I get fortunate. And I never know when that will be. My future is still in serious jeopardy, having no income. And um, me and my other half are on shaky ground, but things were easier when we were both working full time with great benefits. 
I went from making nearly $29,000 a year for benefit down to making nothing. So uh, it's not a comfortable situation at all. If all this had been happening 15 to 20 years ago, I probably would be dead now or I would be loaded for sure. I know I've many many people in recovery who've gone out with less problems to deal with than I'm going to deal with now. What it has shown me is I'm stronger than I thought I was. So even if I get a cry every day, which I don't now thankfully, but I do at times. Um, it's helped me keep going. Dang it. Uh, music and memories and working on projects has been helping me. And uh, I did ask Santa Claus for a new neck, but I guess he didn't have one to spare or uh, the elves weren't on wrong, wrong strike. I have no control over the Twitters. Um, if I had my choice today, I'd be back home in California with my friends and my fellow Beatles fans because it's George Harris' birthday, but I'm just like here alone, as usual. I am trying to find a way to spend less time on Google Plus and other places and set up a real social, uh, social existence. Uh, another job in progress. I've been here for 22 years, and I still don't feel at home, but, uh, ow, that's the way it goes. I, thankfully, ow, I've been in recovery long enough to know that the drugs and the alcohol will not resolve anything, and to be honest, there's not enough out there to kill the pain, so I just keep it alone. I'd be lying if I said, I, the thought didn't cross my mind because it does. Uh, I keep doing it a step at a time, one moment at a time. Um, ow. I would love to have the uh, pain go away and the twitches go away. Uh, most of the day I have a sword on my left side, going through my neck, and pins and needles on the right. Um, I've been told there's no cure for the cure if my head is actually shifting left of it. So, um, in general, being in recovery, um, God's doing for me what I cannot do for myself. Oh. Um, so I just thought, dang it. If you're young and healthy, um, just know that your that your actions and your decisions you may or may not have you have to pay for later down the road. I don't know if my present conditions are due to the drugs or not. I do know the COPD is due to the the cigarettes, the cocaine, the marijuana, and so forth. Um, the price I pay. Um, you don't think about breathing until it becomes a problem. So anyway, I, I am um, working on sales and working on other projects, and so I'll keep this short. And short. Um, if you're young and healthy, be grateful and don't make any dumb decisions. Um, take care. Ow. Someday I will have uh, some good news. Uh, anyway, I have been able to sell a few items since November, and I'm on six websites. So. Uh, keep praying that I can get most of the things sold and I can get disability taken care of and I can get a real social life off of these big machines. Um, this may or may not make any sense, but uh, very little in this century has, so what else is new? All right, take care, peace. Remember, love and peace is the answer. Okay, bye.